Hey, this is Shane. In today's coaching video, I want to answer one of the most common questions that I get, which is, you know, Shane, which exercises should I be doing? Uh, I get a lot of requests for, you know, uh, a program design or, you know, hey, I'm working out at a gym or a health club and I really don't know what to do. There's so many pieces of equipment and, you know, what should I be doing? What are the, what are the better exercises? Um, and I've made a little, uh, some notes here on this whiteboard to help to simplify this for you. Um, you know, from an exercise standpoint, understand this, that everybody, uh, whether you're, um, you know, a 12-year-old to a 75-year-old, the movements that we do, the human movements remain the same. Only the intensity levels change. So I want you to think about that. And we look at, at exercising, you want to be exercising in a way that mimics human movements. In essence, there are five pillars of human movement, and that's what I put on this board uh, to help you explain, you know, what are the best exercises. The best exercises are the ones that are going to be mimicking these five pillars of human movement, okay? We look at it. We've got push movements, so we're going to have to push something. We're going to either have to push something horizontally, we're going to have to push something uh, vertically, maybe push something over our heads, okay? Uh, this is everyday life. Now, there again, the intensity levels would change depending on the, the individual, but you're going to have to push something. So examples, horizontal pushes, bench presses, uh, push-ups, uh, vertical presses, something like pressing something over your head. Uh, there again, the, uh, what we are using for resistance, whether it's body weight, whether it's a barbell, a dumbbell, a sandbag, a, a log, it doesn't matter. The resistance doesn't matter what we're using, but the idea is that are you doing something to push horizontally and push vertically, okay? Should be staples of your exercise program. Pulling, we're going to have to pull, same idea, pull something horizontally, pull something vertically. So bent over rows, a seated rows, an inverted row. Uh, an inverted row would be like if you're lying uh, underneath like a, a squat rack or you hit a hold of a bar and you're actually pulling yourself up uh, from underneath. Uh, a deadlift, pulling something from the floor, okay, a natural human movement. Uh, pulling vertically, uh, doing a pull up, pulling yourself up, upright rows, shrugs. Uh, essential human movements, because you're going to have to do this uh, on some level on a daily basis. Uh, squat, and this is one that, you know, a lot of times people say, well, I can't squat. I get, you know, well, um, because of whatever reason. And I'm going to say, yes, you can, because everybody has to squat. Um, not everybody, but there's, you know, if, if you have the ability that you you got to be able to, to get up out of a chair, you're squatting, okay? So you might not be able to do a weighted squat, but that's something that we have to do on a daily basis, right? So uh, whether it's body weight to weighted squats, front squats, back squats, uh, you know, kettlebells, whatever it might be, medicine balls, we're, 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 we need to be doing squats. It's a principal movement, okay? Um, I put these two together, level changes in locomotion. There again, everyday life, we're going to have to do some sort of a level change. We're going to have to step up and step down, whether it's you're, you're, you're climbing up on top of something, you're climbing a flight of stairs, climbing down a flight of stairs, that's a level change, okay? Uh, we want to be, be mimicking that uh, in our exercise program. So whether it's using uh, boxes to step up, doing weighted step up, stepping down, uh, essential. Locomotion, well, you know, uh, it's pretty obvious, but sometimes we take it for granted. We need to walk, we need to run, we need to skip, we need to jump, or any combination, or it might just be, you know, uh, one or two of these, but we are going to do this, right? Uh, we never, you know, stop doing some form of locomotion. Uh, rotation. Uh, there's going to be some type of rotation. You're going you're gonna to be, uh, there again, everyday life stuff. You're going to maybe have to pick something up. You're going to have to rotate your body and pick something up and bring it down. Ro bend down to pick something up while you're rotating. So rotation is, a, um, is a, one of the pillars of human movement. So we want to be mimicking that with exercises, with, with cable chops or medicine ball chops, uh, whatever it might be. Now, down here in the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, but... I have like power clean, hand clean, clean and jerk, you know, the Olympic lifts per se. Now these won't be for everybody, but the explosive lifts. Um, if, you, if you're healthy enough to do, um, you want to have a little bit of explosive lifts uh, built into your program. Extremely beneficial. Um, we're going to be able to you know, do some high intensity work, wrap this in. Uh, occasionally, uh, I talk about like the, the high intensity training, the interval training. And this is just a piece of it. This is, you know, being able to do something in an explosive manner. But in general, everybody needs to be doing these five pillars, rotation, level change, locomotion, squat, push, and pull, okay? These are the five pillars of human movement. So 
the best exercises are going to be ones that fit into this. So you don't have to, you know, if you're going to look at something and say, should I do the leg extension machine or should I do a body weight squat? You know, I'm going to tell you, I want you to do the body weight squat. Why? Because you're integrating all the muscles, not just your, you know, your quad muscles by doing an extension. Um, you're going to have to pick something up off the floor. So some form of a deadlift. There's just so much misconceptions and myths. People say, well, now nah, that's only if you're trying to, these, like these exercises are only if you're trying to, um, you know, get big muscles or if you're trying to bodybuild. It's not true. In some, just this, the intensity is going to be scaled down, but we need to be doing these movements. So uh, there's just real quick recap uh, as far as exercises. Look at the basics. The basics are always the best, okay? Uh, what worked 50 years ago still works today. Get back to doing the, the body weight movements, the simple compound movements of pushing something over your head, pulling something from the floor, squatting down with something. Even if it's your own body weight, that's what's going to get you there. So there it is. Until next time, um, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.